Hi, I'm Will Reynolds. I'm a PhD student and a tutor in the School of Maths at the University of Edinburgh. In this video, I'll introduce myself and I'll state a maths problem for you to think about. And in the next video, I'll give a solution to the problem. So I'm a PhD student in pure mathematics working in my third year. So that means that if you look over my shoulder, you can see some of my daily constant companions. Uh, but I'm actually making this video because I'm part of the maths outreach team in Edinburgh. As the name suggests, the maths outreach team works to communicate higher level mathematics and promote mathematical thinking to non-mathematical audiences. So members of the general public, high school students, even primary school students, you get the picture. Actually, most of the maths outreach team is composed of undergraduates. Uh, there's a lot to get involved in, there's lots of opportunities. So if you can make some time, then I highly recommend it. It's great fun. In my work as a tutor, I teach to small groups of undergraduates. I mark their work and I give highly personalized feedback. Um, I've tutored for a range of courses here at Edinburgh. Uh, but actually the problem which I chose today, I chose it because it reminds me of the kinds of questions which we ask in one of my favorite courses to teach, and that's the first year course, Proofs and Problems of it. So here's the problem. Should be coming up now. So it should be on the screen now, but I'll read it out anyway. There are n pancakes. So you should assume n is a natural number, a uh, whole number, at least two. There are n pancakes, all of different sizes, that are stacked on top of each other. You are allowed to slip a spatula under one of the pancakes and flip over the whole stack above the spatula. So for example, if you slip your spatula underneath the pancake, which is third from the top, then you have to flip over the little stack of three pancakes, which is now sitting on your spatula. You have to flip over all of those at once. The whole stack gets flipped over. The objective, so you can do that as many times as you like, and the objective is to arrange the pancakes according to their size with the biggest at the bottom. So you start with something which looks like a pancake stack on the left hand side of the screen and you want to end up on the right hand side of the screen. But you can only do this with spatula loops. The problem is design an algorithm for solving this puzzle and determine the number of flips made by the algorithm in the worst case. So, so that means you want to come up with an algorithm, a clearly defined procedure or set of instructions, which will take any arrangement of pancakes you give it and will always give you back a sorted stack of pancakes. You know that you start with N pancakes, but Changing the starting arrangement will obviously change the number of steps that your algorithm takes to sort. Right? For every value of n, figure out which arrangement of the pancakes causes your algorithm to take the largest number of steps and figure out how many steps it will take in that worst case scenario. So that's the statement of the problem. Two more things from me in this video. First, notice that the problem does not say find the most efficient algorithm. Okay. Turns out that's too difficult. It just says come up with an algorithm. So it doesn't matter if your algorithm isn't the most efficient or it doesn't matter if you can't prove that your algorithm is the most efficient. Um, we're not looking for the most efficient algorithm. Just come up with an algorithm and analyze the algorithm that you come up with. Second, I should mention that I came across this problem in a book called Algorithmic Puzzles. It looks like this, by Levitin and Levitin. If you like the puzzle, I recommend the book. Uh, that's all from me. Remember to like this video and share it with anyone as mathematically minded as yourself who might enjoy the puzzle. And thanks for watching.